What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Trouble again, yet again with another video. This is three in a row, one day. So I've had a huge, you know, a, a ton of things happen. You know, I was only planning on waking up this morning and doing like, you know, one or two videos. And um, I was getting ready to go to the store and, you know, somebody hit me up online and said, hey, you know, big rally, come join. So I joined and we and we did a uh, a pretty decent rally and also you know um, I could do four videos today but I don't want to I don't want to overload too many people you know this is this is a, a lot you know whenever I've seen that whenever um, I upload a, a, a lot of videos I get you know it not too many people watch them so I'm I'm trying to limit the videos I really didn't want to upload too many today but uh, I wanted to upload each one of these because they're very important. So, uh, look, this is, hold on, this is the wrong one. Um, all right. Uh, I, that's, that's from the zoo. <laughs> um, anyways, this is, um, about the YouTube gamer that they're, that they're trying to recruit for, uh, doing YouTube videos for them. Um, I need you guys to do me a favor. Everybody that wants me to do the YouTube channel for them, please like, subscribe to my channel, and um, send 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 C O K a message and say, hey, you know, there's this guy named Troublemaker that does videos and he does pretty good. You know, I don't I don't do just war videos because to me that's that's a uh, that's awfully monotonous just to constantly sit there and, and do attack videos and stuff like that I would rather teach people and, and help people to grow and develop and and spend as little money as possible honestly you know so um this is this is what I did I, I went on ahead and, and I and I applied for it so uh so you see right here I I applied for it and I sent him a link to my video one of my videos um please just uh just holler at him you know see see what they can do uh, but anyways, on to the video. This right here is about some upgrades that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, this is this is awesome, you know, that, that my friend allowed me to do this. Um, he kind of surprised me and he was like, man, you know, I, I went off and, and did something, you know, I, I really, because I, I advised him against it at first. Then I was like, yeah, you know, let's do this. And then he was like, oh, well, I'm going to do it in, in a couple weeks. Well, he went on ahead and did it last night. And uh, he got he got Christina. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all about Christina, but we're gonna upgrade her first. We're gonna try to get her to lower level uh, 45. Now, I don't know if we're gonna make it because ooh ooh that's not there's lower level 41. We if we can't oh man. We need to get her to Lord at least Lord level forty three. Um, that's a problem. That's a problem. But anyways, what we're gonna do is she's gonna be our attack defense hero as soon as we get her up to Lord level forty three. Now, uh, in one of my other videos, I had demonstrated, you know, told told everybody what she is capable of. Um, I think that I touched a little bit on the subject about. You know what her what her stat what her attributes are. Uh, this is this is she's basically a war hero. So what it is is after using this, it reduces the damage of the enemy's archer by three percent when leading troops into the battle. Uh, lasts for 0.25 hours. So basically, lasts for 15 minutes. It's good for a rally. Good for um, if you're looking if you need a strong attack. Uh, it's 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 going to be good for all that. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on upgrading her until until we can't get no further. Um, what what is why is that increases? Oh, for the elite legion. Ooh. Now is that elite legion? Isn't that isn't that uh P one through uh T one through T ten and um isn't isn't uh T11 called something else. I'm going to have to look at that. I'm going to try to remember to look at that before I go. Um, after using reduces damage of the enemy archer by 5%, when 
when leading troops, the troops last for 0.25 hours. So it's another one that lasts for, for uh, 15 minutes. Um, it reduces the damage of the enemy's troops. So so what you can do is you can either garrison her on your castle. And like if you're getting ready to get rallied and you are, you are getting hit really hard. Um, you can garrison her on the castle with all your equipment and set up a mighty defense. You know, um, it lasts for 15 minutes so they can... They can attack all they want for 15 minutes and their archer and, and their, their attacks are going to be a lot weaker. So what they're focusing now on in this game is um, not only making your attack stronger, but they're focusing on making their other other players' attacks, you know, lighter. Now, this right here is going to come in very handy. Um, when garrison on drill grounds. Okay, so the max level is 750. All right, march speed on the black belt. All right, so this isn't going to work in a march. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to basically, uh, he's got 23 points. Until he gets to lower level 45 or 43, let's, let's skip over that because he's going to need at least lower level 43. So let's skip over that for right now. As soon as he reaches lord level 45 or 43, we're going to we're going to reset his skill points and we're going to go for something a lot better. Um so for right now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of keep it like this. The uh the uh the main purpose of getting the lord level to 45 or 43 on this is to a be able to get the uh level 43 peerless armor so your archer attack is higher uh b is right here after using reduces damage of the enemy's archer by seven percent and leading troops so what it basically does is this hero alone will uh increase your attack and, and decrease their attack by 15 percent a 15 percent difference from your attack and defense so it is very detrimental to have this hero this hero is a huge deal um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to leave her alone for now. We ain't going to put no equipment on her. We're just going to leave her alone for now. And, um, let's, let's see what the other skills are. Cause sometimes they got other skills and like in development and stuff. So, um, all right. Damage received by infantry. Meet one of the following. Okay. So what this does is once you reach this requirement, it reduces the damage received by infantry. So, Oh man, after using this, increases cavalry damage by 3% when leading troops in 0.25 hours. Okay, so it's going to decrease the cavalry damage. Man, it's going to increase the cavalry damage. So it's a that's a 10% difference right there. Okay, so this new hero right here, all right, on this right here is going to change. Ooh. Damage dealt by cavalry. This is more of a cavalry hero. Wow. But it's a man, she's a decent hero. If you can get her maxed out to like level 48, oh my goodness. You can get all the way down here. Well, let's see what's let's see what well, let's finish this off. Let's look all the way down here. Alright. Cavalry damage by five. I think we already looked at that. Increases the cavalry damage by seven. So that's going to be the cavalry section. And this right here uh, reduces the damage received by cavalry. What's this? After using reduces reduce the chance of getting captured. Okay, so this is the part where you can reduce the chance of getting captured, getting your hero captured for 24 hours. Um, what what it does is if you attack a high power castle and you know you have a feeling that you're going to lose then it's going to reduce the chances of it getting captured during that attack you know if you're going to rally it or or if you're going to skill attack it uh to soften it up a little bit uh after using the chance of getting captured will be very low okay so it it has two chances okay so with this being done you know with with the with the hero in support it's going to make the hero much weaker so what i'm thinking is 
eventually in the future are they going to um, allow another hero in your march are they going to add a section where you can have more heroes huh I wonder if I wonder if that's possible so all right so he's got he's got a couple of the skills he's doing pretty good he's gonna he's he's got up to Lord level 41 he spent you know a decent amount trying to get it up that high um, right now we got 682,000 gold so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the SVIP store he wants to he wants to raise up the SVIP store so he's got level one activated right now now what we're gonna do is we're going to okay so let's go buy some SVIP points hmm All right, we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy three hundred thousand gold worth of SVIP points. Now, now, don't be thinking that I do this all the time because I, I've already, I've already discussed this with him. Um, we're going to see what we can do about getting to the second level. Now. The load, the troop load is going to be pretty high, you know, pretty pretty significant. But what we're going to do is we're going to raise the cavalry attack, being as though we got the uh, other hero. We're going to raise the cavalry. Ooh, we might be able to finish it. I might have just bought too many. Can never have too many SVIP points. All right, so what's that going to do? Oh, I gotta buy some merchandise. Okay, so what kind of merchandise does he need? Let's get some uh, some candles. Maybe get some badges. Man, he's. We're gonna have to uh, to work to. Uh, let's get some of these massacre effects and the redemption. Um, I'm not sure if he needs food right now. Hmm. Let's do... Food is always handy, and this stuff is safe. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, we're going to... All right. So, what he's done is... What we've done is we've maxed this all out, and now we've got to complete merchandise every day until we are able to get to the next level of SVIP store. So, in case you guys are wondering, that's how it works. You've got to you've got to earn points, earn privileges to get to the SVIP level two. So, we're gonna slowly work on that. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna do any more videos about that because, uh, yeah, I don't want to kill his gold. But what we're gonna do also is we're going to look into his dragon. All right. How are we going to... We're going to try to get his dragon. How much is his dragon? That is... 1,000... For... Alright. So he's going to have to get... He's going to have to either start doing... Because he, he hates doing these... Um, daily tasks. So... He's, he's what I consider, you know, a spender. I don't... I, I do all my tasks every day. I don't care if I'm spending a thousand dollars a day. I'm gonna do all my tasks because I want my free stuff. So uh, he's gonna have to either grind out some of this stuff. I might have to access his castle and start killing monsters and uh, doing some dragon tower and stuff because he's going to need to um, start getting some of these dragon scales. It's gonna be. Uh, later he's gonna he's gonna end up spending too much money and I really don't want him to do that um, he's a really good friend of mine so we're gonna we're gonna try to help him out as much as possible but anyways outside of all that he has got he's went from from um, fairly weak he went from like a four four hundred percent archer four twenty percent archer to almost a, he's he's at five hundred percent damn near so uh and he's even got a debuff right now so 
what he's concentrating on, I've advised him to concentrate on not not power because everybody's like, oh, well, I'm going to build 100 million power and I'm going to be untouchable. No, that's not completely true. You're not going to be untouchable if you don't have the correct amount of science and research and stuff like that. And we have done a decent amount of science and research. So uh, this is what we've done. I think that I think that he's coming a long ways. Um, if he could just log in and, and start doing his his stuff, man. Um, Q, man, you're killing me here. Uh, this, all this, he needs some wood. Ooh, he's low on wood. I think he told me something about he was low on wood. I should have got some wood for him. All right, so we're gonna. I'm going to jump down here to the siege engine technique. Let's see if we can't. Ooh. Ah, look at that. All right, so. Bam, starting on his attack. So we're gonna we're gonna start bringing all this stuff up. This is the next thing that we're going to bring up as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, we are going to speed this along. Sorry about that. We're going to speed that along and we are going to um Where's it at? There it is. Archer health. There it is. Archer attack. We're going to uh, get that going right there. That way his archer attack's coming up. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry I got a phone call in the middle of it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Do not forget to contact COK Support. Let them know that you want me to be their YouTuber. Please. Thank you guys. Give a like and a subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the better I get noticed. The better it is that for you guys, the better the videos are going to be. Thank you. Peace.